<laughs> Tight mount, making sure heels are in, knees are in, chest to chest, skydiving here, all right? So um, if I am loose with my legs at all, like the shrimp escapes are super easy, he's just gonna push and get away, all right? But if he tries the same thing when everything's pinched in, a lot more difficult, I can track it. All right, so from here, I kind of put my wristwatch right under his head and pull it up, and then I'm gonna put my thumb in the collar here. Okay, just thumb in. And then I grab, okay? I'm gonna unwind the head and really drop this uh, elbow into like the center of his chest to pull his head up off the mat. It's, it's gonna be a lot harder and less effective if his head's still on the mat, all right? So I wanna be here. And it makes it uncomfortable for them too. They know some danger's coming, all right? Just like I'm waving to the crowd, I'm gonna go here. Being very mindful of my weight. And since I'm, my hand ends up over here, I lean this way just a little bit. If I'm still leaning this way, it's gonna be an easy sweep, like a UPA escape. So I go here, and then I draw my hand back and grab the fabric here. Just, I don't have to get my hand in for this one, but it's gonna be very difficult to get that where I need it. So I draw it in, I grab fabric, and I drop everything down. And when I go to finish the uh, mounted X choke, I'm doing this. Naturally, people try to do this. The choke's just not there. Like you'd have to hold it for a couple minutes for it to do anything. But when you come in like this, it cuts everything off, all right? So here, draw it in. And I wanna make sure like when I bring this in, I kind of turn his face, like I'm shaving his face with my elbow. And that opens that, that carotid up on that side. Grabbing fabric and I put my head down and I pull my elbows back here. Okay. Small detail that helps it too is I flex my, like, like I'm casting, I guess it'd be like a reverse cast this time. That way that, that elbow, or not elbow, uh, wrist goes into that carotid. So that might take a while to really get that refined, but like it helps so much. So lift the head, thumb in the collar, unwind the head, drop the elbow. Wave to the crowd, draw this in, and shave his face away. That way I'm under the chin. Grab the fabric, head down, pull my elbows back, cast my wrists. Okay, all right, one more time. Is there anything you can do to keep his left hand from getting in there? Do you just kind of have to hand fight a little bit? Um, his left, so it would be, is it at this point? Yeah, like if he starts putting it in between. Or Brings it like in, almost yeah. like home alone. Um, that is a, a, gonna be a battle, but usually when I start driving okay. that across, it clears it. Sometimes they will be super stubborn to where like they're still keeping it, like they're fighting it in there. Feed through if he's doing the home alone. Like. So once I go here. Yeah, can you like go through and under? It's going to be difficult. Okay. I, I think if it, it gets to that point where like I just can't get to there, I'm going to switch to something else. Yeah. Which sets up those, that, that S mount. Um, but really fight for it too. Like if, if you're just like, it's not there, then it's transition. Any more questions? Do you right. post with your forehead very often? Does that take away a lot of the pressure in your own look? Um, as low as you can go is best. Um, as I was going down and applying, I was getting the tap before my forehead hit. But okay. if you, you can really use that as a post too, to where like you're just down and it, it locks everything in nicely. Mm -hmm. So as low as you can go. Cool? Yeah. All right, on three. One, two, three.